Tales from the Solid Pack, number three, Sleepless Nights, written by Nansenator. Are you sure you're feeling all right, sis? Dispel asked for the third time that day. Lavender rolled her eyes again. Yes, Dispel, I'm fine. I told you, I just didn't sleep that well last night. It was probably because of Blaze snoring loudly again. Well, you're not wrong about that. I swear, he snores like a freaking polar bear. That caused the both of them to laugh a bit. But in all seriousness, if something is bothering you, you know you can always come talk to me about it, Dispel said. Lavender smiled at her older sister. I know, Dispel, and I appreciate that. But I think I'll feel better if I take a small nap. Wouldn't want the others to see me looking half asleep, she joked. Dispel chuckled. Well, all right, sis. I'll let, I'll let the others know not to disturb you. I'll come back later to check up on you, she said as she began to walk out of the cave. Lavender gave a tired smile. Thanks, Dispel. She then got into a comfortable position, lied down, and closed her eyes to try to get some much-needed sleep. Or at least sleep that didn't involve nightmares again. She hadn't told anyone this. But for the past three nights, she has had nightmares involving her and Dispel's parents. Just like Cyrus and Violet, Lavender and Dispel were separated from their pack as well. Lavender and Dispel were originally from the Nightingale pack, and one morning they found out that their territory was completely deserted. They have no idea what happened to their pack or their parents. They don't even know if they're still alive or not. But after what happened, the two sisters were left on their own. Lavender seemed really confused and lost over what happened. Sometimes she would even cry over their parents. But thankfully, Dispel was always there to try and make her feel better. Lavender really wanted to know what happened to their old pack and why they left. Everything seemed completely normal the day before they left. Their parents were happy, the rest of the pack were happy, and Lavender and Dispel were happy. So what could have happened so suddenly that made the whole pack want to disappear? Lavender may never know, but she can only hope that they're still out there somewhere. She hadn't told anyone about her nightmare simply because she doesn't want anyone to worry about her. The rest of the pack members were concerned about why she looked so tired, but she kept telling them that's nothing to worry about and that she just didn't sleep that well last night. Thankfully, they didn't question her farther after that, but Dispel definitely knows that something is up with her younger sister. She usually never has trouble getting some sleep, so this is very unusual to her. But she decides to get to the bottom of this once Lavender is feeling like herself again. A few hours later, Lavender finally woke up from her slumber. This time she had no nightmares and she felt a lot more refreshed. She had no idea what time it was or where everyone was. The sun was still out, but it looked like it was close to setting. She heard a pair of paws coming towards her, and sure enough, it was Dispel. Hey sis, glad to see that you're finally up. You were out for a while, she said. I was? Wow, I must have been really tired then. What time is it? Lavender asked. It's around mid-afternoon. Everyone's hanging out by the lake. I told them the reason why you couldn't join, and they all understood, Dispel said. Well, that's good, Lavender said. Suddenly, a loud growling noise startled the both of them. Lavender then realized that the noise came from her stomach. S Sorry about that, Lavender muttered sheepishly, her cheeks blushing red. Dispel laughed at her sister's embarrassment. Don't worry about it, sis. You haven't eaten all day. Hold on, I'll be right back. She left the cave and was gone for 10 seconds. She then came back holding a large slab of meat. She dropped the meat in front of Lavender and smiled at her. I saved you some because I had a feeling that you would miss meal time. Now please eat something, she said in almost a motherly way. Lavender wasted no time in eating the food that the spell saved for her. She had no idea just how hungry she was. Though, considering that she hasn't eaten all day, it wasn't surprising. <clears throat> Dispel sat down next to her and watched her eat her food. 
She was happy that Lavender was feeling more like herself again. Though she still really wanted to know why Lavender hasn't been sleeping well the past few nights. She wanted to make sure that her sister had her energy back before questioning her. A few minutes later, Lavender finished her meal. She gave a happy sigh and looked the leftovers of her food. Feeling better now? Dispel asked warmly. Yeah, I do. Thanks, Dispel. I really needed that, Lavender said with a smile. Dispel smiled back at her. You're welcome, sis. They both sat in silence for a few minutes before Dispel decided to figure out what's been going on with her sister. Lavender, I really want to know why you have been sleeping well for the past few nights. I know you're hiding something from me, and as your older sister, I have to know why. Please, Lavender, what's been going on? Dispel asked with deep worry in her voice. Lavender knew that she couldn't hide it any longer. She gave a great sigh before speaking again. Okay, Dispel, you win. The reason why I have been sleeping well at night is because I've been having nightmares about her old pack and her parents. I don't know why, but I just keep having these dreams about them, Lavender said in a sad tone of voice. Dispel looked at her in shock. What are the dreams about? Lavender sighed again before continuing. One dream was about our parents yelling at us about how horrible we are. Another one was about a fire breaking out, and they had to evacuate and leave us behind. And the one I had last night was probably, possibly the worst one of all. The whole pack just blamed me for all their troubles, and told me that they never wanted to see me ever again. She started to tear up. Sometimes, I can't help but think I'm the reason why they left. Was I not good enough for them to spell? Was I a horrible child? I... 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 Lavender couldn't take it anymore. She threw herself into Dispel's chest and started to sob heavily. Dispel didn't do anything except rub Lavender's back soothingly. Dispel wanted to tell her sister how wrong she was, but knew that she needed all the comfort she can get right now. Shh. It's okay, Lavi. I'm right here. Everything's going to be okay, she whispered soothingly. Lavender cried for a few more minutes before she finally started to calm down. There, there. Feeling a little better now? Dispel asked. Lavender sniffled. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Now, Lavi, I want you to know something. I don't know why Mom, Dad, or the rest of our old pack members left. And there is a very good chance that we may never know the reason why they left. But I do know that it is not your fault. Mom and Dad loved you, and the other pack members loved you as well. They could have left for some other reason. You didn't do anything wrong that would make them want to leave. You... you really mean that, Dispel? Lavender asked. Dispel smiled. Of course I do. Trust me, I wish I knew the real reason why they left. But you are definitely not the reason why. They loved you so much, Lavi, just as much as I love you. And please know that you are so important to me more than anything else in this whole world. And I will never, and I mean ever, abandon you. Lavender started to tear up again, but this time for a good reason. She threw her four legs around to spell and cried into her chest again. This time she was crying happy tears. She felt a huge weight being lifted from her shoulders as she felt the love from her older sister. Thank you, Dispel. Thank you so much, she whispered. You're welcome, sis. I'll always be here for you. Even if you don't need me, I'll still be here, Dispel whispered affectionately. The two sisters hugged each other for a little while longer before they decided to lie down together and rest for a bit, holding each other as closely as possible. Lavender has a feeling that after today, she will never have nightmares again. She felt a lot better about herself and will never hide anything about her feelings again. 
And she has the spell to thank for that. Because she knows one thing for sure. Having a sister was the best thing ever. The end.